Hi everybody, it's me, Lindsay Malloy, and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to go through a quick flip through of my um, Erin Condren, and this Erin Condren was from 2017 um, July to 2018, and I've actually stopped using it um, in the beginning of May, um, or end of April really. So I wanted to take a quick just peruse through all of my weeks and just highlight some of my favorite weeks um, and show off some of the kits that I used. I actually filmed half of these Playing With Me's on my last channel, um, which you can find if you search Lindsay Malloy. Um, you'll find this channel as well as that older one. Um, but I am converting everything over to this channel now, so that's why you're here now. Um, so for this planner, I ordered it with the watercolor, um, just watercolor little design. And in the beginning, um, I just had some like notes from work and this Erin Condren sticky notes. Um, I didn't really do anything with the beginning here. I didn't even write my name on there. <laughs> Um, I did color these in, um, just for, just to, when I was bored probably one day on a call, and then, um, didn't do anything here, did a lot of, um, tracking and stuff of my YouTube and Instagram, but, um, and this Instagram is for Sticky Fox, um, which J July was the grand opening of last year, um, I haven't been able to pay as much attention to it just because we've been, we moved and, and things like that. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been a little tough. So here was the first week that I planned in this planner. And this is a kit from Scribble Prince Co, which is probably one of my favorite kits. Um, mainly because it has a lot of my favorite colors. I really love this bright, hot pink color, and then I loved the tropical leaves down here at the bottom. I just thought those were absolutely beautiful, and the deco was just super fun. I loved this for the start of summer. Um, we, this week, and I, we had also gotten a pool, and we set that up in the backyard, so I was pretty excited to show that off. This is actually a Sticky Fox kit. Um, this one is Palm Trees Ocean Breeze. And this one is available in the shop right now if you are interested and I will leave a link down below. It's also just really easy to remember. It's thestickyfox.com. Um, and I used this one because I felt like the colors really matte, blended well with like a Stars and Stripes as well um, theme. So. It's kind of got this pool deco and some tropical leaves and a hibiscus flower. And um, I added, I had a surprise birthday party on um, the 8th, which was my birthday. The next week is a kit from Hello Petite Paper, which was another summer kit. And I absolutely loved the artwork in here. I don't usually love Fashion Girls, but the one that she designed was absolutely just one of the cutest little full boxes I've seen. So I loved putting that in there. Um, I just, I loved the, the artwork on here and the tropical leaves. Um, I thought it was really pretty. Um, this kit was, I believe it was like a mango kit. Um, and again, you can see more details on this kit um, on my other channel. I did a plan with me on these and the past few kits. All of these kits so far, I have done a plan with me. Um, this kit was the Paper Loving Mommy Mango Tango, um, which I just, one of the things that drew me to this was the wood grain, if you can kind of see that at the bottom. Um, she had a little little bits of wood grain um, peeking through everywhere, and then the bright mango color was just absolutely gorgeous. I loved this one. This one was a fun kit. Um, I think it was a probably one of the most pink kits I've ever used, and I'm not a huge pink fan, but I thought this one was pretty cute. This is actually from a 
another Colorado um, Etsy shop. It's Frank Hearts You. And this one, I believe, is the Cabana Party um, kit from her shop. Um, most of the notes and, and things, I started doing a little bit of like highlights and, and some tracking and some August memories down at the bottom, but I, it didn't really stick too much. Um, just a little bit of notes and things. Um, my monthlies are pretty simple. This is another kit that was from my shop, thestickyfox.com. And this one is The Mountains Are Calling and I Must Go. And this one we used to really get, we took this week off, I think. So um, we used this week to basically get our house ready and, and um, to be up for sale um, and really finalize a bunch of house projects. And we also signed some paperwork to build our new house um, in the beginning of this week, which was pretty awesome. So then after that, this is a um, another Hello Petite paper. This one is Rainy Days, which is pretty fitting for um, around August, July time frame here in Colorado because it is super rainy all the time. Um, I loved the dark, dark blue on here. It's kind of like, that felt like it was switching over from summer into the fall, and I just thought this one was super cute. Um, this is the first foil kit I've ever gotten um, off of Etsy, and this one is Chic Street um, Sticker Boutique, and it has some foil accents all over. You can see a little bit of the... Um, when I move it here, there's foil accents in the washi strips and then in the um, ombre, bra, ombre um, checklist boxes in some of the um, deco here, which I thought was super cute. Um, I obviously got drawn to this one by the tropical leaves. I have definitely an obsession for tropical leaves lately um, and have had an obsession, obviously, for almost a year now. Um, and I loved the little good vibes only kind of neon um, full box right here. That was pretty cool. This next next kit is the Villains kit from Odd Loop, and I love the print quality on Odd Loop's kits. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, the vibrant colors on her kits are just so amazing, um, and I think those little characters that. Um, Jesse draws are absolutely adorable. Um, so that was this. Most of these weeks you'll also notice that I was using Once More With Love um, Wacky Holidays. I think I end that pretty soon here though. Um, another notes page that I didn't really end up filling out. Um, so this kit was a no Etsy kit spread and I did film this one as well. Um, on my older channel and this was just using happy planner and washi stickers um, so I think this one if you are interested in um, seeing more plan with me's about like not using kits and things like that definitely go and check this one out um, I really like using happy planner and no Etsy kits for some weeks um, Mainly because just to switch it up and it is kind of using more character stickers and and different stickers for my stash but also you know sticker kits can be so expensive to get every single week and I think this is a great way to use those happy planner stickers instead this week I thought was very minimal and beautiful this one is little indigo papery and it is blooms and lace um, I believe this one also has a plan with me on my older channel as well. Um, and I just love how simple and basically muted that this kit was. It's very enjoyable to look at. Um, then bringing back some pinks and some colors. Um, this one is the Hello Petite Paper Foxy Kit. And I loved the little fox in the, the kit here. I think it's so cute. 
I think this one is super cute and I just love the little floral accents and the cute little fox. This is another kit from Scribble Prints Co. And this is Happy Fall. Um, one of the things that drew me to this kit the most was the Burberry plaid. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Some um, little, little accents all around with the plaid um, in the background and the washi strips um, and some of the full boxes that I had cut down. And I just thought this was really cute. I loved this for starting off fall in September. And one thing you may notice in all of my spreads is the way that I plan pretty much has been stayed the same throughout the year. And it's also still the way that I plan now in my B6 Foxy Fix. Um, so far, um, so it, I usually put my calls in the morning in the beginning area. Then I do a to-do list and I use the full check a heart checklist and then I've got my afternoon things and dinners and things so I pretty much plan the same way every week and then change up maybe the sidebar or I change up maybe the weekend but that's about it um, I used some leftovers from that villains kit from odd loop and I never actually finished filling that one out um, some my uh, what should we call it monthly view is pretty pretty boring um, this kit is from the sticker shop co and this is fall into place um, it was pretty simple muted just a few little bits of clip art and stuff like that um, so pretty simple fall kit to use in um, the beginning of fall this is another um, no Etsy kit and I use happy planner stickers for this um, this week I was traveling in New York for work, so I actually didn't take this planner with me. Um, I just kind of did this so I could see it for the week before and just kind of like a little bit of a memory plan. Um, so yeah, I used some of these stickers had some foil on them, just some washi strips, um, a couple extra things um, here and there. And really this was just... Um, I didn't go back. I didn't bring this with me, so I didn't have a work to do list for this. Um, this week was pretty cute. This is a kit. Um, I had started buying some um, kits from Heather Ann Plans, and this is her Hello Autumn kit. Um, I think now she does mostly like photography kits, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I definitely loved this um, little fall kit with the cute little umbrella over here. I love the umbrella. I think that's what drew me to this kit the most. Um, another kit by Odd Loop. This is the Monsters Aren't Scary kit, which I thought was super cute. And all of her stickers are um, this premium matte, which are the same stickers that we, sticker paper that we use in our shop, the Sticky Fox. Um, these um heart checklists are actually not from the kit these were actually from a monthly like sticker kit set basically where it's a bunch of monthly themed colors um and that one i believe was from the sticker shop co maybe yeah i think so um so yeah beautiful kit vibrant colors this one this is a kit that i actually got um, online. This is a printable kit and I believe this is about where the um, plane with me stop. So I think, I don't remember, I'm not sure if I filmed those, but I think this is where the plane with me stopped on my last channel. Um, then I set up another notes page and I never really used it. I don't really, I didn't really think to go here. I usually just have it open to my week and that's it. Um, I cut out the countdown to Christmas programming guide from Hallmark channel and pasted that there. I think this was a little indigo papery. I could be wrong cause I stopped filming playing with me. So I can't remember really all of these. Um, but I think this was a little indigo. No. Yes. Yes, it was. Little Indigo, papery, um, and this was her Halloween kit. Um, I'm not 
completely sure of the name of the kit, but um, I still have quite a few leftovers, which I plan on using next Halloween. Um, one of the things that drew me to this kit was just how unique it was compared to other kits. I loved the lace and just the cute little clip art with the boo and um, little cat and the ghosts. I thought those were super cute. So I loved that. Little Indigo Papery is probably one of my favorite shops as well. I always um, like to purchase kits from them. This is another kit from the Sticker Shop Co. And I'm not quite sure. I think this was just called an autumn kit. Um, pretty simple, different colors um, than usual for most autumn kits. I loved seeing more blue being pulled out and some greens. And yeah, I thought this one was pretty cute. Here is another kit that I absolutely loved. And this one was from Heather Ann Plants. I think my favorite part of this kit was the color combination with the um, kind of coral orange, um, dark navy blue, and then this mint color, um, and then the little mustard yellow accents. I thought this was just absolutely beautiful, muted, um, and I, I was just in love with using this. And another little indigo papery. Um, I think this one was woodland creatures because they, it had um, just little um, hedgehogs and some squirrels and some foxes, um, just little mushroom accents, pretty cute kit. I love this one. Um, another muted notes page. I added a couple just leftover stickers. Um, and I had some, my plan with me is I obviously had used stickers here and I kind of stopped doing things like that um, for a little while just to give myself a break. Um, then this kit is also another one of my favorites and one of my new favorite shops. Um, but I don't purchase from them very often because the kits are kind of pricey. Um, kind of the same price range as like Scribble Prince Co. Where they're, I get them for special occasions but that's about it. Um, this one is Oh Hello Michelle, and I thought this kit was just super unique. I loved the little woodland scene down here at the bottom, and then the um, buffalo check almost looking plaid that was accented around it. Um, I thought it was super cute. One of my favorite kits by far, and I look forward to purchasing, purchasing another kit from her. Um, they are just a little pricey for me, so... Um, I do definitely get them for special occasions. This is the Little Indigo Starry Nights kit, and it is one of my favorite Christmas kits by far. Um, I loved this little um, very modern looking Santa Claus, and then just the colors are very unusual, which you never see a kit with these color schemes for Christmas, which is what attracted me to this kit the most. Um, I especially loved the pops of yellow and the black. And this is just a fun kit. Here's another week that I had to fly for work, so I didn't want to use a kit because I knew I wasn't going to be taking my planner with me. Um, so I just kind of did some Christmas washi tape that I had and then used Happy Planner stickers um, to show when I was traveling. I had really long training on Tuesday. Um, and then flew back on Friday. So it, there was a bunch of stuff that went in between here, but I never actually filled this out because I didn't take it with me. Um, this is the Merry and Bright kit, also from Little Indigo Papery, I believe. So this is the Merry and Bright um, kit, Christmas kit from Little Indigo Papery, and I absolutely love this kit. I love anything with a truck and a tree because that reminds me of my husband and I going to the mountains and picking out our tree. Um, so I was pretty excited to use that. And then Christmas week um, was a week that we took this week off of work, both of me and my husband, um, and most people on my team at work as well. So this week I didn't really want to plan anything. I kind of just marked down a couple things that we had done, um, and I used Happy Planner stickers and washi tape for this. Um, this is kind of where I stop using the notes pages um, just because they weren't being functional for me. Um, but yeah, I don't, ended up not using those. 
This is another kit from Oh Hello Michelle. And this is the her um, Pop Champagne New Year's kit. And I thought this was so much fun. I loved the bright colors. I loved that it wasn't just a bunch of like cutesy fashion girls or anything like that. I just, I loved it. I thought it was so cute. This week, um, I used a lot of leftover stickers. So I used stickers from the Hello Fall kit from Scribble Prints Co. And then I used quite a few um, kits before that had brown accents. So, and this is some washi tape that I had that had some gold accents. So this is kind of a mis mix mash of different kits. And this was actually our moving week. So we had taken this week off of work, but I wanted to mark all of the things and kind of memory keep what we did and my top three priorities and things like that for when we moved into our new house. This is a kit from Heather Ann Plans and I thought it was just pretty cute and simple. Um, I think it was meant for back to school. Sorry about that, I think my camera cut out. But again, this was Heather Ann Plans um, Lazy Kit. This one was super cute. This kit, This kit is from Nightingale Paper Co. And I believe it was like a Foxy the Valentine's Day kit. Um, not really sure <laughs> what the name of this one was, but I, I thought it was super cute with the little foxes. Um, this kit it was a Llama Love kit. I can't recall which what the name of the kit was from. Um, but it was also a Nightingale Paper Co. I have a, another kit from Little Indigo Papery, and I just loved this almost like art deco pop um, geometric shapes that she had going on. I thought this one was super cute. I started adding like tea of the week um, at the bottom of my spreads here. This one is another printable kit that I had found on Etsy. This kit is one of the first times I've ever used a Creating & Co um, sticker kit. And I had actually purchased this quite a while ago, actually um, a few months before I actually used this. And, but I had purchased it wanting to wait for a snowy week. And so I used it in March. We didn't really have a very, snowy November, December, January timeframe. So our snow in Colorado kind of comes in our springtime. But I loved this, the paper quality is wonderful. Um, and I just loved all the different little um, splashes of deco that she sparkled throughout. Um, this was another um, printable kit, but I also added in some um, leftover stickers. And for example, like these are from Oh Hello Michelle. I bought these um, heart checklists from her shop that are just come and have a bunch of different colors. Um, and this was just a, an Irish St. Patrick's Day kit, printable kit that I had found on Etsy. This is the um, second kit that I had gotten from, um, a coffee fairy plans um, wasn't one of my favorites but it was okay I didn't really use this week because I actually didn't really love it <laughs> um, this was the one of the first kits I've ever used from key town Kia town I think it is key kea town and this is the friends kit the central perk kit um, which I had just gotten back into watching a lot of Friends um, Friends episodes, just re-watching the whole series. Um, this is also a week we went and saw Ready Player One, one of my favorite books ever, so really excited to see that movie. Um, so yeah, I thought this one was really cute. Then um, here I used this kit 
which was a kind of like a spring kit. Bloom where you were planted, I believe is the name. This kit was um, a kit that I, from a shop that I hadn't purchased before. It is Tiny Little Tulip. And this one was Bloom Where You Planted. I thought this was pretty cute. I love the subtle little green accents. Um, I just thought this was a cute little spring kit. This is another No Etsy kit um, spread that I use lots of leftovers. You can see I use some um, from a winter kit from Little Indigo Papery, um, Nightingale Paper Co., just some washi. Um, this was from that A Coffee Fairy Plans kit, um, just some stickers that I had left over. This week I also used leftover stickers, and this one I used mostly stickers from the Creating Co. Um, winter Scene one that I had actually used. March. So I I had used a lot of the stickers that were left over from this kit from Creating Inco. Um, her sticker kits come with so many stickers that I basically had enough to do a full spread um, just by supplementing a little bit with like full boxes from other kits that had similar colors, which I thought were super cute. This is when I ended up stopped um, not using my um, Erin Condren anymore. And so this is the last week that I was using it. I knew my Foxy Fix was arriving, um, so I definitely wanted to set that up. But I, again, I used another No Etsy kit using a lot of my leftovers. And the way that I store my leftovers is actually in... The Erin Condren used to have a pouch basically that came in the back that was sp in spiral bound and I think this was last year's planners um, but I basically took that out when I uncoiled um, the planner because I, I took off the coil so that I could recycle the paper um, once I was done because I didn't want to keep that previous years. Um, I'll probably keep this one because I used so many beautiful kits just to kind of look back on it, and I think it was so pretty to see all those kits and one of the few planners that I've actually used <laughs> almost from beginning to end. Um, I did leave May, June, and June left, but not a big deal. <coughs> so the way that I store my um, Etsy sticker kit extras is I keep them all in this little pouch together. And I have quite a few, so I just put the ones that I had last used right on top. Um, so for example, um, I actually have some sticker stickers that I need to put in here. This one was from Kia Town from quite a while ago, actually, but um, I just stashed them right in here. And then whenever I have a kit that has the same colors or if I want to do a no Etsy spread and just supplement with Happy Planner stickers, I just try and find some leftover stickers in here. Um, so I was starting to use my little um, planner sticker um, makeshift booklet to put together and I put like extra half boxes, quarter boxes, um, flags, teardrops, appointment labels, things like that, but it, it was just too time consuming I think. So rather than doing that each time, um, I just made it easier on myself and put them all in here. So I just take this out and grab any stickers that maybe have the same color scheme. All right, that is my complete walkthrough of my Erin Condren Life Planner, and I really hope you enjoyed flipping through that. I'm excited to retire this planner and explore using my new Foxy Fix, um, which I have been loving so far. I am still gonna use an Erin Condren Life Planner, and I did order a new one, but I'm not gonna be using it as my main planner anymore. I'm actually gonna be using it solely for my, um, YouTube channel for my blog and for my business, the Sticky Fox Co. Because um, I really want to get more focused, have a planner that's completely focused on that. So 
Um, I'm not sure that I'll share that one on this channel because um, I don't know that I'll be using a ton of stickers, probably mostly Happy Planner stickers in there just because I want to use my kits that I use in my Foxy Fix. Maybe I'll use leftovers, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, so that's what that planner will be used for. So I'm not saying goodbye forever to Erin Condren Life Planner because I absolutely love it. I think the paper quality is amazing. Um, I think it's just a great company. So, but yeah, I am saying goodbye to it as my main planner um, for basically everything, my catch-all for all things. I use my main planner as kind of a reminder. So my new Erin Condren will be more business and social media planning, um, more of like an editorial calendar with some notes and things like that. But yeah, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little flip through. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really supports my channel. And if you loved seeing this kind of video, make sure you also subscribe. Um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.